Hi, a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to understand your web analytics? And the simple, most obvious answer is Google Analytics. Uh, there are many reasons why people love it. It's free, it's a major reason. It's easy and it's, it's pretty powerful. Uh, you can see all of the different types of analytics, users, traffic source, uh, behavioral and acquisition, all in one place uh, with very limited to no investment. Um, how it works is you um, sign up for a free account, you get a little tag, within minutes it could be on your website, and uh, before you know it, you're on the road to becoming a web analyst. The next great thing about Google Analytics is that it uh, blends seamlessly with all of the other Google products, whether that be AdWords, AdSense, um, or anything else that Google comes up with. Uh, the next thing is its user interface is very easy, very simple to, for a layperson to, under, to get to, let's say, user analytics, traffic source analytics, behavioral analytics, um, acquisition analytics. It's all there. It's, it's all very simple. Uh, you can get to it from any device anywhere in the world. Uh, and that's why people love it. Now, that being said, that it does have some limitations, and it's these limitations are some of the reasons why businesses go elsewhere. Uh, for instance, uh, Google only reports at the hour level. So while they have real-time monitoring, if you wanted to get a report at, let's say, a minute-by-minute minute breakdown, you can't do that. Um, you're also mostly limited to two dimensions at a time. Uh, so maybe a little scary, but basically if you wanted to see like country and uh, city and DMA. You could only, you'd have to pick amongst those two. So it's, it's pretty limited in its uh, reporting capability. That being said, given its limitations and its strengths, mostly the fact that it's free, it's still the best, uh, the most widely accepted analytics platform out there.